everyone welcome back to my channel this is day two of the value village 50% off sale and today I'm actually gonna try to take you thrifting with me yesterday it was insanely busy so I wasn't able to take you thrifting so I really hope that it's not too bad today it doesn't look as busy the parking lot so I'm crossing my fingers that it will be pretty good not too busy but hopefully I'll be able to find some stuff too it's not too picked over even though probably will be but it is Monday so they should have restocked uh, the shelves again so we will see anyways um, I believe my mom's in there waiting for me so yeah let's go thrifting Holy moly, you don't even know how excited I was when I saw all these freaking shopping carts. And after I got my cart, I went straight to the back racks. And of course, you know what I found? Calvin Klein and Lululemon. After I checked out all the back racks, I started looking in the sweaters. I, I was just feeling sweaters just because it is starting to get cold here. So that's just what I gravitated to. I found this vintage Fila sweater and I'm kicking myself because I ended up not getting it. But now looking at the footage, I realized I could have used it for so many different thrift flips ideas now. Just a little, you know, pro tip if you ever do come to Vancouver and you are wanting to get some Vancouver souvenirs, don't buy them from the actual souvenir stores. Just go to the Valley Village because you will find hundreds of Vancouver Connect shirts and Canadian hockey shirts and Canada shirts. I literally thought this Christmas sweater was so funny because they literally just stowed a stocking to the sweater, which I thought was kind of clever too. You obviously, you can see me checking inside of it, but <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know why it amused me so much. My absolute favorite place to go and find Levi jeans is, of course, the men's section. Here's me attempting to try to find a slip dress in the actual dress section, but, you know, that's, that's never going to happen. You got to go to the lingerie section to find those, you know, amazing slip dresses. Except I did find this one gorgeous 100% silk Wilfred dress in the dress section. Obviously it was way too small for me, so, but hopefully someone got it 50% off. I'm also attempting to try to find, you know, those 90s slip, you know, skirts, if that's what they're called. But, you know, I, I never have luck with that type of thing. I did find this one skirt, didn't fit, but, you know, I think I'm just gonna have to like sew my own, you know, slip skirt. I think I'm just gonna have to do that because I can never find them in the skirt section. Just wanted to show you these rad pink pants. Obviously, they're way too big for me, but, you know, as I'm making my way to the fitting room. I'm not really much of a person that wears large logos on my clothing. I like the more subtle look. I also really like the Aztec kind of clothing but these arms were just like way too big for me and this next adidas shirt is way better than the last one i'm also like a huge sucker for stripes if you haven't noticed that yet this value village is actually really close to the ikea so i just took a you know a quick pit stop at ikea before i went to my second store and unfortunately i wasn't as lucky at the second store there was no carts which really sucked to try and film without a cart. <laughs> so after the sweaters, I made my way over to the t-shirt section because I've been in like a t-shirt mood lately and a sweater mood, don't know why. Oh yeah, there, look, connects t-shirts, you know, typical Vancouver value village. So this value village, usually the racks are like exploding with clothes, but you can see that they actually have empty spaces on the racks, which I have never seen before. So obviously you can see that this store was pretty bare for the 50% off sale. To be honest, I thought this whole trip was gonna be a bust until I saw this. Like, are you kidding me? I find Calvin Klein overalls on the second day of the value village half off sale in the evening this was my face when i i actually saw them and then right after 
I found vintage denim jeans in my size. Like, oh my gosh, it was, it was just all coming together very last minute. And then obviously at the very end, I, I find a card finally. But by this moment, I had already thrifted for several hours. So I was pretty exhausted. So I ended up just going home right after this. I am back home now. It is a few days later from the Value Village 50% off sale, you know, day two of it. I did the day one in my part one video, so if you didn't see that, go check it out. I've linked it below. I'm trying to keep an open mind going into this day two of the half off sale and really was hoping for the best. It is on a Monday, so I was really hoping that they were gonna restock the shelves, being that they restock them usually Monday to Friday, so I was really, you know, going with high hopes that there would be a lot of new, you know, thrift gems in these two thrift stores that I was gonna go to. I actually went to two value villages on the day two sale. I went to the same one I went to the first day, and then I also went to another one that was also near Vancouver. For most of it, I was really kind of disappointed, you know, with it, but then also kind of excited. I kind of just want to go through that quickly before I get into the haul of what the five things I did find at the thrift store. So yeah, let's just get into the comparative quickly. I already explained what it was like for the first day of the Values 50% off sale, so you can go see my thoughts down below in part one of this video. For day two, the first store I went to, I was really, really excited because I went into the store and there was carts. I was so excited that there was actually carts because I did go in the middle of the day. So I was, you know, I, I wasn't really high expectations that there was going to be just because I thought it was still going to be really busy, like it is half off sale. So I definitely thought, it, you know, there was going to be a lot of people there. I was able to film a little bit and, you know, just like go down the aisles and not be like suffocated by the amount of people there. There was a lot of good stuff there. Like I did find a lot of Lululemon, a lot of Adidas at this store, which I was kind of shocked about to find all that stuff on a 50% off sale. I just wasn't very lucky with things fit in me at the store. Unfortunately, a lot of stuff was just too big or they just didn't fit right on me. And then for the second store, this is the store I went to on the first day. I definitely did see a lot of items that weren't there the first day, so they definitely did restock on the Monday. This was closer to the evening, so I really was going at the very end of the sale, the two-day sale. So, you know, I was really setting myself up for failure to find really good items. When I first got there, there was no carts, there was no baskets, there was nothing, so it was really hard to do a thrift with me filming, you know, wise, doing that at the store. Anyways, I ended up finding one item that was on my thrift bucket list that I am, it's probably, it, you know, it is. It is the best thrift find I have ever found. Yeah, so overall, comparing the day one and day two, day one, obviously, I found things super fast and I found a lot more, a lot of items that I genuinely really, really love and I'm super excited to wear. Day two, you had to look a little bit harder. It is more picked over, but then again, it's not as busy. The first day is super, super, super busy where you can hardly get down the aisles. The second day, you know, you have a little bit more breathing room. So it's really what, you know, comparative busy, not as busy, really great stuff, you know, good stuff, like average stuff. But I ended up finding something that was like so amazing that was not there on the first day. So I 100% recommend going to both days or, you know, if you can't go the first day, go the second day. 100% recommend. Anyways, that's enough of me, you know, chit-chatting about this two days of the 50% off sale. Let's get into the haul. So I'm gonna start with the first store that I went to and the two items that I found there. Okay, so the first item I'm gonna show you is this men's t-shirt. It is a size large, but I do like an oversized t-shirt look. It is Adidas, so obviously a really good brand. And it is very just nice and simple. It is so soft, it just has the, you know, Adidas logo there and then these blue sleeves. I'm actually thinking about doing a thrift flip with this item and cropping it and possibly putting like an elastic in, I guess at the bottom so it cinches to the waist. But I definitely think this will be a nice thrift flip to do in the future. And yeah, it's just a really nice white basic t-shirt that I definitely think I can get a lot of wear if I do a thrift flip on it or not. This men's shirt was $7.99, so I ended up getting it for $4, which is an amazing deal for Adidas. Second item I found was this stripe sweater. I am super excited that I found this sweater. It is so nice. I I absolutely love this. Almost get like a little 70 vibes with this one. It is super soft. It, you know, sometimes sweaters are itchy, so definitely 
It is not an itchy one, a super soft one. It was $9.99, so I ended up getting it for $5. It is a little bit out of my comfort zone. I usually don't wear bright blue shirts because I wear a lot of denim, so I don't really wear blue and blue, but it is so nice that I definitely think I would wear this with jeans and I think it would pair really well. Okay, so the second store I went. Benson, stop licking. Yes, hi, what? Hi, oh, stop licking. I, I know, all you do is want to give kisses all day. <laughs> okay, so the second store I went to, I found three items, and the first thing I'm gonna show you is this men shirt, and it just says damn ships on it. I, I don't know why I got it. It is kind of nice, but I thought I could do a fun thrift flip with this again, cropping it and doing something fun with it. It was $2.50, so it ended up being $1.25, and it's actually from like the cruise ship line, I don't know haul in America line so it's definitely one of those tour shirts but I thought it was super fun and something just super basic okay so second item was this striped sweater it is so soft this sweater and I'm definitely gonna be wearing it a lot in this upcoming winter I just I just love the coloring of it and I'm definitely a sucker for stripes so obviously I got it and just turtlenecks and soft things anything that is soft and turtleneck you know I'm, I'm getting it. It was $8.99, so I ended up getting it for $4.50, which is amazing for a sweater. And of course, the last item I got was these Calvin Klein overalls. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? These are a size small, so it's also definitely hard to find the smaller sizes. Yeah, I definitely think these are a women's jean rather than a men's just because they are short unless someone hemmed them. They are a straight leg, so they are a nice one. They're not flared. I'll, I hate when I find flared overalls, but these overalls fit amazingly. They got the nice like Calvin Klein buttons on the side. They got the nice Calvin Klein stitching right in the front of the overalls. And then they also have like a little bit of a, you know, little Calvin Klein on the back. I'm just so excited because this is something that's been on my thrift bucket list for so long and I've never found, you know, like a vintage pair of overalls, especially like a Calvin Klein or a Tommy Hilfiger. Those two were like kind of on my bucket list to find at the thrift store. So I'm so excited that I finally found one of these and I found it on the second day in the evening of the 50% off sale. That is, that is crazy that it was there. So obviously just got put out not that long before I got there or someone just misplaced it. It was found in the men's section, I think in the larger, like probably the 38 size. So. It, it definitely wasn't a spot that it wasn't supposed to be. That's probably why no one saw it. So that's why you gotta look through all the sizes because you you might find something on your thrift bucket list that you didn't think that you'd ever find at the thrift store. So that's all that I have for my haul. I ended up finding five things, five items that I definitely think I will definitely wear. I'm super excited that I found these pieces and you know, it's even better that I found them on a 50% off sale. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot, these were 20.50, so I ended up getting it for 10.25, which is kind of expensive. But then again, some, a lot of times these employees at Value Village know their brands, so they end up pricing things really high. So obviously it was Calvin Klein, so they priced it higher than they probably would for overalls. But anyways, $10 for overalls, not mad at all. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed my thrift haul, my thrift me, and my thrift comparison of the half off sale at Value Village. I am really hoping to do more in the future. Of course, when they have them again, usually they have them every few months. So it'll be a while before the next one, but there definitely will be more 50% off sales that I will be doing on this channel. Also, if you like thrifting with me, DIYs, or even thrift flips, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you have Instagram, don't forget to follow me Instagram, at Jenna Phipps, to see what I'm doing during the week and, you know, to see how I style all these outfits I found today. I really hope that you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.